Uh, I want to do another Manny Pacquiao video. Um, and I talked about this on the live stream we did yesterday with Cali. Y'all make sure I go subscribe to uh, the Cali Enigma on uh, on YouTube. I'll leave his channel link into the description. We're trying to get the brother over a thousand, so let's get him over a thousand so he can be in the pantheon of thousand or plus thousand subs. But it's the Boston Clinic of Moore. It's your boy CJ Goodfella. Y'all know what it is. One time for the one time. And I also talked about this on Corey Lee Boxing. Shout out to the homie Corey Lee Boxing. Uh, I think that many Pacquiao should uh, consider joining a 140-pound World Boxing Super Series tournament. Uh, if the money is good, uh, and I know Pacquiao was a legend, he don't want to probably be locked in into a tournament. And that was the same thing people were saying in defense of Mikey Garcia, uh, you know, saying he was going to keep his IBF belt. And then they probably approached him about the World Boxing Super Series tournament. He gave it up, went back down to 135. But for many Pacquiao, for me, it makes sense. I think he can beat the field. You know, it's a lot of unproven talent at 140 pounds that's in the tournament. I don't see anybody that's, you know, head and shoulders above Manny Pacquiao, you know, or even close to that. I believe he could beat Richard's Progress. Richard's Progress is a young lion for for Pacquiao. He's big. He's strong. Pacquiao will be a big 140 pounds, even though, um, you know, he's not so big as a welterweight, all right? Um, also, Josh Taylor, I think he can get him. I think he get the whole field, man. You know, I think he can win that, win that thing, man. And I think for him... You know, it's not going to be long. You know, it's not even been a calendar year with all the issues they had in the World Boxing Super Series tournament so far. And also be on the lookout for Marat Gasby and Alexander Usyk prediction video today, as well as a Jaime Maguire and a um, uh, Liam Smith prediction video today. You know, so the World Boxing Super Series tournament is it, quick. So in a calendar year, you know, he should be under a calendar year. He should be done. And by that time, Lomachenko should have a few lightweight belts. Um, as well, uh, and also Lomachenko should be healed from a shoulder injury, and uh, by next fall, it should be go time for Pacquiao and Lomachenko if that's what he wishes to do, you know what I'm saying, um, but I think they'll definitely kick, you know, Terry Flanagan, who was rumored to be one of the last ones in the tournament, out that out that thing and put Pacquiao in, and Pacquiao probably ra will raise the prize money and raise the purse, because he brings a different type of revenue to the tournament, and for Pacquiao, that will, you know, that will keep him relevant. It will keep him away from the Crawford, Spence, Thurman questions. And, and to keep him in, in play for the Lomachenko fight, Lomachenko heal his shoulder so it won't be no excuses and let him build himself up at lightweight and become a real lightweight first or potentially a light fringe, light junior uh, or junior welterweight. You know, it gives him time. It gives him some good money. Um, it gives him an opportunity to go around the world and fight at different venues and see where, you know, at the end of his career, does he want to do a farewell tour like other fighters used to do back in the day and get a lot of good money. So um, I think it makes sense. So, you know, at the end of the tournament, and he can win. I think he can win. I think he'd be the favorite man going in there, man. You know, and then when he's done with the tournament, you know, if he wins it, which he should, in my opinion, you know, uh, you go fight Lomachenko to catch weight at 135. You know what I'm saying? He can pick up two belts in the tournament. And then if so, you know, Bob Aram can let him uh, unify. If, if Jose Ramirez got the two other belts, because Bob Aram's already been talking about um, Jose Ramirez and Pacquiao before, let him unify and uh, become undisputed at 140, and then, you know, handle his business versus Lomachenko. Maybe Bob forces Lomachenko to come back up to fight Pacquiao for undisputed at 140. I know it's a lot to fucking process, but um, it makes sense. You know what I'm saying? It does make sense. Pacquiao is no longer a top-ranked fighter as well. So, you know, he don't have that promotional issue with getting into the World Box Super Series tournament. He promotes himself. And they can be, they can give him the extra bag for getting in. You know what I'm saying? It's going gonna, it's gonna to raise the appeal. It's going to bring some fans to the zone as well for the World Boxing Super Series side. Where Eddie Hearn has nothing to do with that part. So, in my opinion, it's a very, very, um, it'll be a very, very good move for Manny Pacquiao. But um, if he's going to make a lot of money versus Amir Khan and he's willing to fight Terrence Crawford and, and those guys up there uh, first, then do that. That's going to bring you a lot of money as well, too, but more risk. But us, uh, the Boston Clinic, and more. Let me know what y'all think about Manny Pacquiao dropping down to 140 and fight and fighting the World Boxing Super Series tournament. Don't forget to subscribe to my brother Cali and Nick on the channel. Let's get him over a thousand. I'm gonna link his ch uh, channel link into the description. As I say, Cali channel. Also, me, Cali and Nick, McLaughlin Sports TV. We got a joint venture for college football, and basketball. Check that link out in the description. We on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, the Boxing Clinic, and more. Check the link in the description and take you straight there. All three social media platforms. Got the Patreon page coming soon. Me and Callie got some fundraisers, uh, you know, for, you know, getting, uh, you know, taking uh, boxing gear to uh, to uh, unfortunate uh, people or, you know, kids that need it. So, y'all yeah, be on the lookout for that in the next few months as well. Also, subscribe, you know, and hit the bell icon so you know we go live and uh, upload that heat and share, share, share. Y'all know what it is. Shout out to the whole LDBC one time for the one time. We gone.